October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and while breast cancer is much more common in women, men can get it too. A News Now reporter Mary Jane Beliaza shares one man's story of raising awareness and hope. Rick Rosen says there was no history of breast cancer in his family, but it was only a short time span before his sister would be diagnosed with breast cancer, then his mom, then him. I was showering and shaving to go down and visit them, and looked in the mirror and one nipple was in and one was out, and I touched the one that was you know, depressed, and there was a lump under it. I had a mammogram, I had a biopsy. A doctor I'd never seen before came out of this little doorway. And he said, you've got breast cancer. And you could have knocked me off that chair with a feather. The news turned his life upside down. At the time of his diagnosis, Rosen was only 40 years old with the family at home. My mom was dying. And I had, the, I had the surgery and I went down and like two weeks before she died, I got to spend some time with her. My sister died on August 15th, which was my very last day of chemo. According to the National Cancer Institute, male breast cancer makes up less than 1% of all cases of breast cancer. Rosen knew he wanted to make a difference by sharing his story, even if it meant saving one life. They did not know how to treat me as a male. And this is at the VA hospital, which is heavily weighted towards males. I think I was their fourth ever male breast cancer patient. Despite his ordeal, Rosen says he's had a successful life, from a decorated career to covering various sports to having a radio show at Caesars Palace and as a military veteran. My mom told me just before she died, she said, don't ever forget. The life is for the living. And she said, you enjoy your life. You're right. I'm one of the luckiest men on earth. Now, according to breastcancer.org, an average man's risk of being diagnosed with cancer in his life is one in a thousand compared to one in eight for the average woman.